perfectly. Okay. Uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, hello, everybody. Hope you are doing well. Here, I want to present to you our uh, recent research called uh, Semi Automatic Construction Hazard Identification Method Using 4D Beam. I'm Mohammed Said Haydari, and as a representative of our research team, I will present the paper. Okay, let's start. Uh, um, unfortunately, the number of the casualty and fatalities in the construction industry is disproportionately high. While the construction industry uh, employed 7.2% of US workforce in uh, 2019, 19.9% of all fatal occupational injury occur in this section. So it's very important to pay attention to increase the safety level in construction projects. One of the appropriate strategy is to identify the hazards in pre-construction phase and try to eliminate, reduce, or manage them and their impacts. Advancing new technology have provide great tool for identifying hazardous situation and eliminating or managing them in the construction industry. One of these technology is building information modeling or BIM. BIM models uh, are object oriented and have a very good visual feature. And this feature can be helpful in hazard identification process. So we decided to use a, a method to facilitate this hazard identification process. This method's primary aim to identify safety hazards in the earliest stage of the construction project with less time and more accuracy. This goal is achieved by using the capabilities of the 4 db models and the automatic processing power of computer. Here you can see uh, our conceptual model of our method. Uh, uh, as you can see, the 3D beam model of the project uh, and the a schedule of uh, a schedule of activity are input uh, to the method. And then a 4D beam model for the project is made by connecting the 3D beam model uh, with the schedule of the activity. Uh, um, for the further assumption, uh, for the uh, safety analysis, further assumption uh, and details are also needed to uh, provide, like the safe distance from the material transport route or other variable that is important in identification process. The user enter this additional information into the uh, separate database. Uh, which is created based on a data extracted from the 4db model. Uh, then a specific identification algorithm is then designed and developed for identifying each of the uh, hazardous attributes. Next, appropriate query are written on the prepared database to examine its content uh, according to the develop, uh, developed algorithm and identifying hazardous activity and attribute. Once the hazardous attributes are identified, um, at the end, they are transferred uh, to the 4D beam model to create the 4D plus beam model. The 4D plus beam model is a, a 4D model of the project enhanced with the safety information resulting from this method. Uh, to demonstrate the method's capability presented, we implemented it on the excavation and stabilization of a real project. Uh, in this sample implementation, a stroke by accident, one of the foremost a frequent accident in the construction industry were selected as a sample category of construction accident. 11 hazardous attributes were selected from the literature as a sample to create the construction hazard database of this study. Here is the 11 selected hazardous attributes. Mm, so I can describe each of them because of the time restriction, uh, but mm, the algorithm for identifying uh, one of them, hazardous attribute number one, that is working in the swing area of a boom vehicle is described briefly as a sample. Uh, at the first step, uh, we consider the execution time of the activity, which the boomed vehicle has been assigned as a resource, uh, and um, consider this time period as a time period of the risk. 
Uh, at the second step, uh, the hazard zones is determined based on the coordinates of the boom vehicle's location in the model and its maximum rotation radius. As you can see in the picture, uh, the hazard zones is estimated as a cube. And uh, finally, at the uh, second step, activities that at the time of the operation of the boomed vehicle, which we specified in uh, step number one, uh, their resources are located in the hazard zones, with, uh, which determined in step number two are identified. This activity have the hazardous attribute number one. Uh, after that, uh, we choose our case study. The project is an eight-story residential building located in Tehran, Iran. Uh, this case study is limited to some of the activity related to excavation and stabilization of the pit walls. Uh, in the figure, you can see some step of excavation operation that we choose to model. For example, number one is uh, excavation, the middle part of uh, after that, uh, the 3D beam model of the project was created. The schedule for the excavation and stabilization process was then connected to the model, and, uh, and therefore a 4D beam model of the project was developed. Figure shows a view of a generated uh, 4D model of the case study project. And uh, an independent database was created to store the safety hazard knowledge. We designed the database structures, table, the property of each table, and the connection between them. The figure shows the table, the relationship between them, and the char characteristic of each. Uh, the desired data was then extracted from the generated 4D beam and stored in the created database Additionally, some data is also uh, taken from the user. After that, the algorithm determined to identify each hazardous attribute were implemented with the help of information systems capabilities uh, to write queries. Uh, the hazardous attribute for each plan activity are identified and stored in the activity risk table by implementing this algorithm. And the output of the developed uh, information system is the risk table of the activity, which shows the identified or non-identified hazardous attribute for each activity. The figure in, in this slide illustrates a sample form design to display the information stored in the risk table of the activity after analyzing the case study project. And after that, the result from the previous step, we integrated, uh, we integrated the result with the 4D beam model of the project to create the 4D plus beam model. And this figure shows a view of the resulted 4D beam plus model of the project. Uh, as you can see in the picture, an excavator has been uh, used uh, you know, as a resource for the activity that was marked with the red rectangular in the project plan to dig the middle parts. And this resource ha uh, has increased the presence of hazardous attribute in this activity and some hazardous feature have been identified for this activity. So it is necessary to consider appropriate strategy in the project planning for its safer implementation. Uh, after that, based on the case study uh, implementation and feedback from the project team and the safety expert, the methods benefits are as follow. Uh, the 4D beam made it possible to use computer tools and consequently to automate the hazard identification process. The automation of the hazard identification allowed the process to be performed more straightforwardly, more quickly, and less costly. And second, due to the consideration of the relationship between elements and activity, the hazardous attributes are identified with a higher accuracy compared to conventional methods. As a discussion, I should uh, mention that the method can be used as an efficient tool for job hazard analysis procedure. Uh, 
Uh, job hazard analysis is usually implemented before performing each activity to identify the risk and hazards that threaten its implementation in the project. Using the, this method in the JHA procedure, risk factor can be quickly identified at the project planning phase. Also, toolbox meetings are among the new and effective methods used to express the safety challenge during construction in the project site. The implemented method can improve the quality of this meeting. It is possible to simulate all activities pro, uh, performed daily, weekly, or monthly, along with the risk and hazardous attribute affected each of these activity in this period. Um, and at the end, uh, I should mention that even though the proposed method has received positive feedback from safety expert, it is still necessary to quantify and compare its result with a conventional method and future research uh, need to address this point. Uh, thank you uh, very much for your attention. I will be happy uh, to answer any question you may ask here or by email to my email address. Thank you, Mohammed, so much for a nice presentation. Very interesting.